Oh, the only way to heal outside of combat is to use potions. Do we have some kind of good potion out there? Let's see. No, we don't. But just in case, we're gonna give this guy a potion. We're going to remove the 25 health potion there. Give it to this guy. And you know what? Let's just give him the wine. Why not? He's a nobleman. He deserves it. There we go. Now, if only he can equip swords. Uh, I mean shields. <laughs> He's a lazy bastard. He just can't equip shields. That's unfortunate. Yeah. But hey, our income is uh, has been registered, which is nice. Now, if only we can heal somehow. There's a monastery right there. But I don't trust these, uh, the guys that will come out, they're going to be all over the place. They're going to be f running fast, really fast. And I have no idea if you will actually fail the mission if they come out very fast and you, you, you can't manage to catch them. Like, is there a permanent failure, uh, th a permanent failure associated with this mission? Yeah, look at this. The, the tough guys are starting to come out, by the way. You can tell these are archers. They're professional soldiers. They're not just refugees anymore. They're professional soldiers. Okay. Uh, we're gonna just... Uh, the mission doesn't tell you if there is a permanent state of failure in this mission if any of those mercenaries escape. Yeah, prevent the mercenaries from leaving. Yeah, but, but it doesn't tell you. It doesn't indicate that there is a any kind of failure state. So you have no choice but to actually kill them all. Uh, thankfully, they don't look too, too tough. Uh, all right, this guy has an axe. So he has an axe and a shield, so he's gonna kick my ass, of course. No, I'm not gonna attack him. I'm just gonna wait. I'm gonna let him attack me first. Hopefully, he will attack my my spellcaster. What the hell? Eighteen damage. Uh, yeah, take the potion. Why not? Good, so he attacked my character. So now I can actually retaliate against him with fire. That's what I'm talking about. There we go. That was surprisingly efficient. But I got lucky. If he decided to attack my other soldiers, uh, I would have been screwed. I would have, I would have lost a lot more health than that. Two groups have been already cut, but surely there are still more left. I must wait until Berthold comes. Alright, so this is the part that really pisses me off. Two of them are gonna come out twice, and I still... It is not made clear if you have to catch both, or if you can let just one of them run away and catch them later. It would have been more convenient if there was, like, a counter or something. Have you played Warcraft? Have you played, like, Heroes of Might and Magic? There's usually a counter which indicates that you must capture so-and-so. There is, like, a, a certain number. Like, you have defeated one out of uh, four castles. You have captured one out of five, whatever, armies, something like that. There is no counter here. That's bad. They need to add a counter. Very important. Especially if you're dealing with these kind of missions where you have to capture certain escaping enemies. Thankfully, we had potions. Uh, you know what? I, I have the feeling that these potions are going to be very useful. So, we'll give him another one. There we go. Yeah, two squads at once, we must take them both. Uh, and one of them is actually quite strong. Yeah, there we go. What exactly is Berthold doing? He's like, uh, what? He's just stirring up the hornet's nest? He's letting these guys escape? Look, what the hell are you doing, Berthold? And they're both really powerful, like, what the hell? Okay, more axes. And you know what the terrible thing about these axes is? They completely shut down your defensive buff. Yeah. This one is completely useless at this point. Because they ignore 50% of whatever you can cast. Ah, uh, okay. I'm actually gonna stay. Wait until the end. And this one is 18 damage. Yeah, we're gonna kill this one. Now we have to deal with archers as well. Shit. Uh, okay, so that guy's dead. Could use his potion. Uh, yeah, use the potion. F 
fuck? Okay, so now this guy is almost dead. Well, the good news is uh, we can now send this guy against the archers. Yeah, there we go. Can we kill anyone whatsoever? No, we can't. Okay. Let's strike this one, I suppose. Oh my god. <sighs> this is so stupid. He's gonna survive with one health point. I hate it when this happens. We're just gonna wait. Alright, so now we can move in. It's a complete fucking waste. Like, I'm gonna have to spend a bunch of mana just to kill this guy. I, it's an interesting combat system, but it's not efficient. It, it, sometimes you just have to get lucky. It really depends on what the enemy does. Like, look at this. We we lost a bunch of health there. How am I supposed to catch this next army that's emerging? And they have a healer. Like, am I required to kill all of these guys? They have a very powerful soldier there. I'm gonna save, and I'm gonna assume that we can actually retreat and heal somehow. I'm gonna try to heal. There's this is just uh, okay. Thankfully, he is going in the exact same direction that I'm going through, so we can actually heal and kill him. Good. We got lucky. And just to be able to do things properly, I'm gonna sell all this junk. Oh, oh my God! I actually sold this by mistake. Shit. Uh, all right. We're gonna load because I don't want to sell that thing. All right. Trade. And this time, don't sell stuff by mistake. Damn it! Don't stop moving up and down. All right. All right, so we made a little bit of gold there. And we can spend it on healing expenditures. Hmm. Well, thankfully, this guy was not damaged so badly. So it's more expensive to heal Crimson Vegas than it is to heal all the others. I'm not sure if they want to keep this mechanic. It's weird. It's just, I, I mean, I understand he's a high-class citizen and everything, but... Oh, come on, just come on. I mean... Why the extra torture? I'm having a hard enough time on playing on normal difficulty. Can you imagine what it's like on insane difficulty? Okay, so yeah, we're gonna attack these and see what comes out. You will notice that we have attacked like uh, th three of them and we did not gain any loot whatsoever. Not a single potion was given. We're going to try to kill the axe guy as soon as we can. Ouch. And she's going to heal him, of course. Good, that was a good attack. Or are we gonna wait until the end? Uh, so that's the end? Okay. So who do we wanna heal? This guy, maybe. So we're gonna take a lot of damage from this guy, but... Uh, nevertheless, we should probably just kill him. Uh, the other two decided to retreat. Ah, oh, shit. Okay, so now we're gonna have to spend a bunch of gold on this guy. This is the problem. I would have preferred to actually continue this battle until the end, so that I can use the healer's special ability on this guy. Because this will actually reduce my expenditure. This will reduce my, the, the amount of gold I'm going to have to spend. Again, I have no idea if this was intentional on part of the developers or just to make the game that much more difficult and avoid any kind of exploits. 
I mean, if that's the case, well, more power to you, but I, I, I'm just having some serious doubts about the whole thing. Uh, like, look at that. This is like torture. So Berthold has come out alive, thankfully. I have no idea what he was doing inside there. Like, he went inside to take a shit, basically, and I had to deal with all the crap that was coming out of the castle. Well, thanks for nothing, Berthold. That was quite a fight. You did nothing, you idiot. I think I broke a sweat back there. Well, I think that's a bit of a, the bandit's skin. Alas, the ringleader disappeared. He vanished into thin air, curse him. I'm sure he has sneak, sneaked into some secret trapdoor and now hides somewhere in the depths of the woods. But nobody managed to escape from Brenthold Craig before, and I, I shan't let this be the first. I'll hang him from the, his balls between the wench towers. Uh, find me later when my blood has cooled, and we will decide how to roast the, fast, the fattest chicken. Well, well, for starters, you can reimburse me for the, like, 190 gold we spent healing our troops. Don't worry, Berthold. I doubt he'll manage to do much on his own. All of his chickens have been thoroughly plucked. At the cost of 100 plus gold on my side. You did well. I had no doubt that you'd succeed though. And by the by, I took some shiny trinkets from the nest. It would be more than fair to split them between us, since I'm sure they won't be needing them any longer. Fuck yes, show me what you get. Okay, what, what did I get? Uh, I'm gonna bid you farewell for now. I just wanna see how much stuff did we gain. Uh, okay, we gained the battle axe, which nobody can equip as far as I can tell. Uh, okay. We did gain this though, the bear claw. Oh yeah. I don't know. Do I want to use that? Um, I don't know. Let's just take it. Yeah. Well, that was pointless. Did I say that I was gonna rage quit if I did not get enough rewards from this entire mission? F surprisingly, I'm not that pissed off. We managed to get things done. Yeah, so now we had we have the winter ruins. I'm gonna tell him to that we should try to capture that uh, bandit leader. Uh, okay, he's super fast. Like he's he's oh my god. Uh, Bertold. Okay. All right. I'm not going to talk to you about Kurt. I want I want you I want him to join me or something. Give me a castle. Give me something. When you once used to be a great castle. Uh, the tunnels under it are quite intricate and many still lie there. Who knows how many villains are still hiding there? There's no good going to those labyrinths. We will sneak uh, they will sneak off anyways. Now I have a plan to smoke them out. Use the same strategy as before. We're going to give have a great hunt, just as we used to. I will be a hunter, and you will be my younger brother, Tobias. Uh, okay, you and my younger brother, Tobias, are going to be the hounds. Okay, together with him, you will set off to the ruins. Toby will get down into the hole and drive out the game. You will be waiting outside. As soon as the enemy appears, drive him to the north bridge. I will lie in ambush there. Hmm. We will trap them in the bridge. They will have to give up. And then we deal with their chief. Ah, we shouldn't kill him. That's that's interesting. I give you I give you your due, Bertold. You have spent much time deliberating on this plan. A great idea though that will have to be seen, but it sounds interesting enough. I should say so. Do you think Bertold Craig would allow some pitiful mongrel to fool him? Let me know as soon as you are ready and we will start hunting. Uh Well, I'm going to save the game first. Save. All right. Uh, all right. Start hunting the ringleader. At last, I will notify Tobias and make for the bridge. Is that Tobias or Tobias? I'm not sure how you pronounce that name. Uh. Oh, there's Tobias. I think. Yeah, that's him. He has a small army, almost as as pitiful as mine, almost. Berthold, on the other hand, he's an overpowered son of a bitch. Look at this. 
So Crips and Vegas, I am going inside and I will try to drive this skirt in towards the light, the daylight. The moment you see him, drive him towards the bridge. Very well. I'm just gonna click the spacebar, get the game to run, and... He's supposed to come out at any moment. Damn it, Tobias has been absent for too long, I don't like this. Neither do I. Should I go and find him? That will risk the ruin of the plan. I must decide quickly. Uh, well, that's what the save button is for. I think they captured Tobias. Damn them and damn Berthold's plans. I must help Tobias. Yeah, let's do it. Crips in Vegas, help! Well, I'm coming. Let's see, how tough are they? Well, they're, they're quite tough. And we're probably screwed, but hey. Oh, and... Not only that, they actually they all have axes. Uh, I think we're going to lose this battle, but uh, you know it's still worth a try. There's an apostate here. Yeah, it's a oh you you know what? I think I saved over the first save, so that's a bad idea. These guys they're absolutely going to destroy us. They're superior over us in every imaginable way. They have more defense, they have more attack, they have this rogue guy there with 35 attack points. Uh, so yeah, if I cast the defense buff on my character, they're gonna kill my noble. If I cast the defensive buff on my noble, they're gonna kill my character, or even this one. Either way, we lose. It's like pick your poison. How would you like to lose? That's how this game works. Oh, uh, yeah, this guy has 70 health points. Of course he does. Well, wait a minute. Now he can cast ranged spells. Why can't I? Yeah. Pretty much every spellcaster in the game can cast spells from range by default, except your character. Uh, I don't know the wisdom of that. Like, why? Why did they? Why is the game designed that way? All right, so this guy is pretty much dead. Yeah, there we go. Now, once these two guys are dead, all right, unholy protection, lovely. Even their archers deal more damage than mine. Yeah, so who am I supposed to heal exactly? Uh, either way, they're just gonna get their ass kicked. Uh, I'm just gonna try that one, I suppose. There we go. Yeah, this sucks immensely. I should have gotten some kind of... Uh, Alright, I'm gonna visit the last autosave before we took on this stupid mission. Uh, let's try this one, I guess. Let's try that one, there we go. Oh, okay, so this is the part where we had the squad thing. Alright, I'm gonna have to do multiple saves for next time. Let's give this one a try, shall we? Uh, what? Alright, I'm gonna try to find the autosave and I will edit this part out and I'll be back. Alright, give me just a second. Alright, we're back and uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna have to try and find a mercenary somehow. We can't do this without proper reinforcements. Let's see, do we have any mercenary whatsoever? Yeah, when you need the mercenaries they don't appear. When you don't need them, they're everywhere! I hope to god there's one inside here. Come on, anything. No, not a single mercenary. Just when you need them, they don't appear. And now this mission has been... Uh, okay, I'm gonna... Yeah, thankfully, I think Tobias is gonna wait there until he is uh, triggered or something. So, I hope he doesn't go in there by himself. That would be stupid, right? Let's 
Let's see. Like, I think there's gonna be a couple of mercenaries in there. Let's take a look. I don't even care about these stores anymore. They're just boring. Oh, well, we have another archer. This guy is gone. He's not there anymore. So, do we hire another archer? Thankfully, he costs only uh, 35 gold per turn. Good, so we still make a small income. Having another archer is useful. Oh, well, maybe there's another mercenary in sun. Let's take a look. Uh, yeah, collect some gold. Good. Again, not a single mercenary to be found. I mean, where else should we go? I don't remember seeing any of them in this area. Underwood, perhaps? Alright, so there's soldiers we could hire inside. Let's take a look. No, this is the same old peasant as before. Alright, we have another young noble. Uh, yeah, these guys, they're just not not great. They deal damage. They're pretty good at dealing damage, but they're extremely expensive to heal. Why would I hire a noble when I can just hire a bandit or something? Of course, the game doesn't give you a chance to, off to hire bandits. You have a very limited selection of units that you can hire, but hopefully this one archer... I, I don't know if that one archer is going to make a difference. Uh, who the hell is that? Oh yeah, the Wood Brothers. Do I want to fight these? They came out of nowhere. I have no idea where they came from. Hopefully we won't have to fight them. No, this battle is way too difficult. We need another, we need another melee, a melee fighting mercenary. There's no other way around it. Let's go to that. There's a city, yeah. There's a city there called Quellberg. We're going to go past Berthold and see what we have inside. Well, there's a lot of quests here. I'm going to ignore these right now. I want to focus on the main, on this particular objective. Let's see. All right, we finally have a decent, oh my god. Veteran Archer, 450 gold. I have nowhere near that, that amount of money. On the other hand, what I can do is I can wait for like 10 days until our gold income catches up to it. And that's really, that's really the only way to do things in this game, right? Come on, God's sake, give me something more realistic. Any cheap melee mercenary. Anything. Oh God. Oh, there we go. Hey, we could even have this. Oh, there's none left. I think someone else hired her before I did. Someone beat me to the punch, so to speak. Alright, so now we have a decent army. I hope they don't drain my gold right away. That would be annoying. I'm gonna use them and then I'm gonna just desert, you know, remove them from my army or something. But yeah, this should be fine. Uh, wait, 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 oh my god, I did, I, did, I did not click on the idiot. Oh, shit, okay. Now we're pretty much forced into it. Let's see. He's slowly gaining experience. Very, very, very slowly. And so are my other soldiers, but it's a, a bit too slow for my tastes. Like, uh, yeah, so to the point where it's becoming a grind, really. I hope these guys don't attack me. That would be very unfortunate. So I decided not to uh, attack Tobias this time. And it worked, actually. They killed him. Drive them towards... Oh, oh, come on, oh, come on. So, it did not work. Uh, I was right behind them, but... Uh, what happened was... I had no idea what happened. Okay. So, that didn't work. I want to I wanna stick to the plan. I want... Yeah. Again, very bad mission design. Uh, very weird. What I'm going to do is... I'm going tr to try and see this through. I want to I stick to Berthold's plan. Yeah, screw Tobias. We're going to get him killed. I'm gonna find a way to drive these mercenaries towards Berthold. 
No, just let him die. Screw it. We're going to see how this turns out. Alright, this is it. I'm going to do another save this time. Test. Now, the game is lagging horribly. Alright, so we stay close to him. He, he is much faster than I am. Oh no, oh no, you're not going there, you're not going there, fuck off. And now this idiot comes out of nowhere. Okay, there's a bunch of beggars, so I think we should be able to handle them. Fucking beggars. Oh, man. We're gonna wait. And we're gonna wait. And we're gonna wait. Yeah, because they will attack and the spears will uh, repel them. Much better. Well, except if they attack that one. Good. So we're gonna see if. T uh, what effect this will have on Bertold. The fact that he just lost a cousin? I think Tobias was his cousin. Ah, oh, got you, little chicken. You are encircled. Throw down your weapons and surrender while you yet live. Good job, Chris and Vegas. Where is Tobias? He fell in a fight with these scum. What? These damn marauders killed my brother. You scum, you have no powder. You have no mercy for me. Men, take their heads and leave the rig leader to me. Bertold, we need him alive. Blood for blood. Okay, so Berthold, what have you done? We have no information, nothing at all. Is this the vengeance you wanted for Toby? I did what was right. I could not act any other way. Um, okay. So, I would have used that information. That would have been useful, I suppose. Uh, let's go to the ruins, I guess. So, we own ruins again, but... Uh, we didn't gain anything from them. So that whole quest was uh, kind of stupid, actually. So yeah, we, we tried to help... Uh, what was the point of this entire quest again? Uh, we were trying to help him gain the mercenaries or something? I was hoping like maybe you would gain a, a new army, perhaps? Anything, anything but risk results. So, you know what? I'm gonna try to help Tobias this time, yeah. Let's see how how different that will be. It's the obviously this is the more difficult choice, right? Yeah. So yeah. Where's my archer? Okay, there's these are this is this is my side. So in theory we should be able to kill them, right? Because we have more soldiers. Usually I would prefer to go with a defensive stance, but uh, this time we can't afford to do that because uh well they're going to attack me, and they're going to murder me. Unholy protection. Yeah. Yeah, my archers are uh, kind of useful. Useless, actually. They're, they're, look at this. 10 damage, they survive by 3, and it's it's just pathetic. Check this out, oh my god. Oh good, okay, so the retaliation was, uh, it worked, I guess. So who am I gonna heal now? We're gonna lose one of these... Yeah, it's too bad they did not k attack my mercenary, they decided to attack my two guys there. Oh, 
Alright, so this time we're gonna buff him. Oddly enough, uh, again, my archer, he cannot attack, he cannot damage these guys. For some ungodly reason, I don't understand. So who am I gonna attack? The archer? Looks like I cannot heal anyone except this guy. F for God's sake, someone please tell me why is it why is it happening like this? Why can't I heal those two and I can only heal this one? I mean, don't get me wrong. I would rather heal him because the other two are just uh, okay. What happened here? He's he lost a lot of attack uh, for whatever reason. Oh, this this is the effect that is currently active on him. Uh, moderately stunned, and he has. Hmm. Moderately stunned characters lose 50% of their attack and initiative. So how long is, is this gonna last, I wonder? Well, regardless, we should probably get closer to the archer. Because that's the only way we could uh, put him on the defensive somehow. Uh, Alright. Transmutatio with this guy. So the archers are not as useful as I thought. And he could heal them. Well, lovely. Uh, no damage? Oh, that's why, because we're not able to deal damage. Good. Come on. Now that guy is supposed to uh, retreat, I think, but he's not retreating. That's quite brave. So he's gonna kill one of my units. I hope he kills the mercenary. Please kill the mercenary. Uh, for some reason, she's not gaining enough. Oh, I think I know what I... Oh, I think I understand why she's unable to heal people, because... Certain people have less willpower? Alright. There's your problem. They have such low willpower because of this guy. He cast a spell of darkness on them. And the fact that they don't have willpower... It will make her spells much more expensive to cast. Alright. Oh, he managed to escape. Uh, he did not attack. That's strange. All right, so we somehow managed to survive. Sixty-five gold, a couple of trophies. I think this is better. We gained a lot of experience from this. We, yes, we somehow we managed to survive. Holy Maria, Crimson Vegas, you are just in time. If it were not for you, I would roast on this villain's spit myself. I'm happy you're safe now, Toby, but we have lost the opportunity to question the chieftain. Uh, looks like it's the exact same result either way. Either way, we're gonna lose the opportunity to question the chieftain. And I, I, I don't know, like, what, what was I supposed to do? What was the correct choice here? I feel like we are, we have lost something. Hmm. Yeah. And now we're losing gold, so yeah, it's not not a, not a great win, honestly. And another problem is that if I want to get rid of this guy, there's no guarantee that we will find a replacement for him. Like if I want to hire another one eventually, I don't think we're gonna find another one. But uh, I don't know. Just uh, let's save the game for now. Maybe Berthold would be happier to know that I. Uh, 
rescued his cousin or something and he might reward me with some with some kind of yeah let's see Crimson Vegas where are the mercenaries and their leader everything went wrong Bertolt Tobias nearly died at their hands I could not simply watch Tobias has been saved but we won't question the ringleader now it's a pity but at least we can take comfort in the fact that the gang from the winds won't bother us anymore and I will have to teach Tobias to handle himself better next time. Yes, please do. Alright, so that wasn't great. And I don't particularly feel good about this quest. Especially since we did not gain anything and we are still... Yeah, the quest we complete, uh, every step of the quest, we don't get any experience from it. So, I feel exhausted. And uh, oddly enough, I don't feel like I want to play this game anymore until they actually fix this, these issues. Like, the, the, what's the point of the quest if we're not gaining anything from them? I mean, even if they are supposed to advance the story, if your power is not advancing and you're still sustaining heavy losses without making any gold, and you actually have to pay for, to recover these losses, like, uh, at what point does this game become fun? I'm having fun in the combat, but if I can't sustain, like, the achievements in the, from these combat, like, if I can't sustain any gain from the combat, how is it gonna be fun? And how am I supposed to proceed? in the storyline if I'm not powerful enough to fight anyone. Uh, yeah, so these are my main concerns right now. I mean, I could use potions, I guess. But for how long? Like, yeah, potions are great. They might help you for a while, but like, for how long are they going to be helpful? Anyways. So you can see, uh, the game is quite difficult. It, it, it's merciless, in fact. And uh, yeah, 113 gold to heal my troops. Uh, I don't think so. I'm actually going to have to remove this guy. Yeah, so we can now recover some gold income. We're going to keep the archer mercenary. I think we, could, we should be fine with these guys. Despite the fact that he is completely useless. And you saw how his attacks were just uh, not useful at all. Half the time the enemy would escape. Uh, or you know, the, the enemy would avoid death and survive with like 10 HP or something. Oh, but of course the enemy archers, they deal like, wow, like 18, 20 damage to my troops. So, not very balanced. Or at least it's stacked against my face. Uh, it's, it's stacked against me. All the odds are against me. I'm actually wondering if someone else made it past this mission. I don't think someone made it past this mission. Okay, we got some axes. I'm very tempted to give my, my units an axe. Do I want to give them an axe or a stunning thing? Let's give them this. Maybe he can now equip a shield. No, he can't equip shields. That's too bad. So which is better, a mace or a spear? Well, the spiked mace costs uh, 378 coins, so I would assume it is the better item in this situation. And the nobleman, of course, he cannot equip anything else. All right, we're gonna heal one last time. Yeah, that's much cheaper. All right, so I am quite stumped right now. I really don't know what to do. I tried talking to the other chieftains in my previous playthrough, to the other uh, leaders in these areas, and uh, every if you try to attack any of, any of them, they're extremely powerful. Some of them are inside their castles, and they will never come out. Like for example, this guy here, Frost. He is inside his castle. He will never come out, and he is uh, actually no. That's not. Oh, that's not the one I'm talking about. Actually, this one. Yeah, Grossenhof. He is inside his castle. He will never come out. If you try to attack him, he has a. I think that's him. Yeah, he, he, the siege uh, mechanic in this game is that uh, if you try to siege a castle, you will take a lot of damage, and as long as he is inside his castle, he will uh, deal a lot of damage to you. And even if you manage to kill him outside, actually. Well, I can't see where he is. He's somewhere around here. Maybe... Oh, there he is. Wil Wilhelm Grossenhof. Yeah. So, even if I try to attack him... Look at all. Look at his soldiers. He has one very powerful archer. He himself is a very powerful unit. And he has a soldier and a healer. And at any time, if he managed to pay the mercenary... Uh, it 
yeah, she, she, uh, this healer, she's gonna keep him alive, and yeah, he's impossible to kill with my current army there. And my soldiers are not gaining any experience properly. They, I, I fought like how many battles? You saw me. I fought five battles, four or five battles so far. Uh, haven't been able to level up a single unit. So yeah, that needs to be fixed. Anyways, uh, I've had enough for today. Uh, I'll try to think what I did wrong. What am I doing wrong right now? What could I possibly do right? And if you have any suggestions, any ideas, uh, feel free to leave a comment explaining to me what I'm doing wrong. If you have any suggestions for other games I could try, don't hesitate to, you know, comment. And if you like what you see, if you like these videos, don't forget to like and subscribe so I can make more. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.